Hey, what's shaking all you rock fans out there? Uh, Mr. Dave out here and we are in Escondido and we are doing a repair and recolor job up here. And so I want to show you what ends up happening as I've shown in many other videos where the steel's not encased in concrete and so things rust and they crack. So check it out. This is a 20 year old feature. So it's been around a while. It's been repaired already, sort of. It is sort of a, a you know, expandable, sort of a stuck uh, silicone type of product that just pushed in the crack. But the cracks are going all the way along. You know, the, the sort of the demarcation line between the pool and outside the pool. The pool has the water in it and it gets colder in the summer because it's water and then the outside is really hot. So the cold and the hot disparity causes expansion on the hot side and contraction on the um, colder side. Well that fo those forces playing against each other pull things apart and if you don't have rebar inside the steel, inside the concrete structures rather, then you have a failure and a weak point. It doesn't always do it but it's very very common. So we're actually going to come across and sort of like stitching back a cut or a surgeon's uh, surgery if you will. You can see the cracks right here coming down and so we're going to sort of try and get the two halves and pull them together just like the doctor puts to, puts you back together after a after a, a surgery. Um, same thing right here. Big crack coming across. In fact this spot right here you can see is actually all the way to the steel inside and look at that it's it's just about rusted all the way away. I don't know if you can see inside there but yeah, these are hollow, and they're, you know, hollow's okay, but you gotta get the steel encased in that concrete. So we're coming across the whole front of this thing where all the cracks are. There's a, a weak point right here in the weir. That's where the water falls off into a pool. So we're gonna be doing the same thing. And we took this little section out with the diamond grinder so that the rebar can kind of set in. And so when we're adding our concrete across this whole space, it's not gonna end up being so bulky and misshapen. We wanna follow the shape of the rocks, and they're pretty cool. The rocks look pretty pretty neat. They use the plastic or tin foil technique to get this texture. It's basically just crinkling up uh, a thick six mil or thicker plastic or tin foil, and you just push it into the wet cement. Pretty simple, and it does, it does give you an effective look right away. So we got a crack here, so we're gonna be fixing that one as well. So we're going across the whole face of this feature and we're gonna be just trying to fix these cracks. After that's done, we're gonna texture coat it and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use uh, probably Visqueen plastic, push it into the wet mud and that will give us the look that is consistent with the original folks who built this. This is a 20 year old piece uh, project so it has lasted for quite a while. So, uh, there you have it. That's the way to fix them. And so we're gonna be working on that for the next couple of days. We're waiting for uh, the Shakri guy to be doing his thing on the other job that we just did a video of. So, you know, you just try and fill in the calendar with other stuff to make sure you're doing something each and every day. So anyways, uh, we'll show you the next steps as we proceed through this process to show you how you can repair artificial rock that's been cracked and it's fallen apart. None of this is forever perfect. It's possible you'll have reoccurring cracks, but we're doing a pretty heavy duty repair and we're using the steel and we will encase this steel completely in concrete. So it will have a pretty good bite and we can use some uh, acrylic admix into the concrete mix that we're gonna use to cover up all the rebar and all these areas that are cracking. And uh, might even use some uh, concrete glue on the, on the substrate as well, I'm not sure probably could get away without it. You know, the acrylic stuff you add in, it makes it pretty sticky, it makes the mud pretty sticky. So anyway, so Mr. Dave out here in uh, North County um, Escondido and just doing another one. So repairing old 20 year old rock work, giving it a facelift, fixing all the cracks. So we'll see you next time. Be thankful, be forgiving, and uh, put more in this world than you take out and be hopeful and positive. We need more good stuff out there, yeah? Yeah. So anyway, Mr. Dave out here, God bless y'all, and we will see you next time.
See ya.